Hi there and welcome again to Who House Sports today. There's lots of football to cover, plus we'll bring you some of the excitement here in Kuala Lumpur ahead of this weekend's Formula One Grand Prix, which includes probably the ultimate Michael Schumacher fan you'll ever see. Naturally, we begin with the Champions League quarterfinal, and it's true that Spurs fans are still reeling over Tuesday's night loss, but it's the second set of first leg quarterfinals where we kick things off, and this is how it ended last night. 2009 winners Barcelona hit 5 past Ukraine's Shakhtar Donetsk in what's being labelled as a masterclass performance by the Catalans. Lionel Messi was there, but just look at the scorers. This goes to show you how involved the team is throughout the 90 minutes. And mind you, the usual target man Messi played till the final whistle and didn't even have to score. That's a good cushion they have as it is never easy playing in Ukraine. Then of course, there was the Chelsea Man United match. And what Sir Alex Ferguson set out to do worked. The Reds have the advantage as boy in focus Wayne Rooney put United in the driver's seat halfway through the first half. Chelsea did have their chances. Drogba struck the post. Frank Lampard had a shot clear off the line by Patrice Evra and the Blues, both off and on the pitch, were infuriated when two penalty claims were rejected in the dying seconds. And what do you know, Fernando Torres still hasn't scored. Now that away goal for United means it's worth two at Old Trafford. So it looks like they could meet Schalke in the semis and to concur with Sir Alex, United will be hard to beat at home. Okay, moving to the Real Madrid Tottenham aftermath. Aaron Lennon has been made a scapegoat for Spurs' loss the other night. Not sure where it came from, but Lennon tweeted, Lennon tweeted, Believe me, this is one game I did not want to miss and still devo now. Will not be made a scapegoat saying they only knew just before kickoff. Word of the day, Devo. But is there anyone from the Spurs camp that started this? Well, Harry Redknapp told a radio sports show, No one is blaming Aaron for not playing. He's been fantastic for us. I've got no problems with the kid whatsoever. I had to make a decision. It wasn't Aaron's fault. He didn't bottle anything. The kid wasn't well. No one's made him a scapegoat. But guess whose fault Jose Mourinho said it was? Peter Crouch. Crouch was sent off in the 14th minute following two bookings for poor lunging tackles. With Mourinho saying the resulting red card has all but ended Spurs' chances of progressing. On Crouch, he said Peter should have controlled himself better having already been booked. We had one team completely stuck at the back without any chance of responding. Come on, what's done is done. Furthermore, Captain Michael Dawson came out in support of Crouch, saying he, i.e. Crouch, was gutted. He apologised to the lads, but we went out there to give our all, and it did not go to plan. But the Spurs skipper hasn't given up hope of overturning their defeat and will be ready to give it their all. That's the spirit. But then it could end up worse. Oh well, that's next week. Meantime, the Formula 1 circus has come to town. We managed to catch up with the Team Lotus Racing, the one spearheaded by Air Asia's Tony Fernandez, that is, and the Mercedes GP Petronas team in their Meet the Fans sessions yesterday ahead of this weekend's Grand Prix in Sepang. We'll have the Team Lotus interviews with Heki Kovalainen and Yano Truly on Kuha.my just for you. So we'll end today's show with those images, which includes probably the world's ultimate Michael Schumacher fan. Till tomorrow, I'm Patrick on behalf of the Puha team saying it's bye for now.